While all eyes are on Tampa, it turns out the man to watch isn't even there yet. Mitt Romney putting the finishing touches on his convention speech at his home in the state of Massachusetts. But will the speech be enough to sway undecided voters? Let's ask Jonathan Collegio, Director of Communication for American Crossroads. Jonathan, great to see you there on the floor. Uh, it looks like you're at Good the center evening, of the action to start soon. Is this a make or break week for Mitt Romney? You know, it really is, because with so many uh, voters, independents, Republicans, and Democrats, with so many people know of Mitt Romney are the ads that they've seen on television that have been run by the Obama campaign, by the Obama super PAC, that depict him in a very negative light, and also the coverage that has come from the news media. So this is really the first opportunity for Governor Romney to present himself in an unfiltered way to all these people that have never seen that. I think it presents right. a great opportunity for him to show his plan for the country, and I think people are going to like it. Well, what is it that you think the central message of this campaign is, or it at least this convention. What we've seen in our research is that at, at American Crossroads is that independent voters are ready to give President Obama the pink slip. They're ready to, to hire somebody else, but what they're not sure about Romney is whether or not he's the guy that has the plan to turn it around. So if he's able to go in there and convince all of these people in the middle that he has a plan to turn the economy around, I would expect to see a very large bump moving into the next week and into the Democratic convention in Charlotte. Well, you know, another big name uh, people are mentioning, Chris Christie, He's been talking about what he's going to talk about on the floor of the convention hall. Here's what I told the staff, keep me busy. I got to wait till 10:30 Tuesday night. Yeah, let me tell you, you don't know what's going to happen when I burst out of that gate by 10:30 Tuesday night. So they're basically they're, they're just going to keep me on the treadmill all day, try to just wear me out. See if we can lower the energy level just a little bit. Well, what can we expect from Chris Christie? Chris Christie is kind of, I mean, he's a beloved figure in the Republican Party. Conservatives love him because he really stood up to the teachers' unions and the public unions in New Jersey to, to balance the budget there. So he's really going to present, I think, the problem that Obama has, has gotten America into. It's this hole, this debt uh, that, that's really unsustainable. And he's going to basically show folks that Mitt Romney is the answer to that, that he's the answer that's going to uh, put, a, put us back on a fiscal footing uh, that, that will strengthen America. The Paul Ryan path to prosperity, he can lay that out, I think, in a very, very charismatic and, and really connect with voters in a way that, uh, that a lot of people can't. Well, do you think that Jersey style goes over with everybody? Not with everybody, not with everybody, but it certainly goes over with a lot of people that want to hear straight talk. I mean, Washington, D.C. is so politically correct. There's so many things that you can't say, and, and Chris Christie really just kind of takes that and turns it on its head, you know? So I think that it will be refreshing to a lot of people. A lot of the mainstream media are just going to, oh, my gosh, so, you know, they're, they're going to cringe at what he says. But I think a lot of people in the middle are really going to like it. I have to ask you about this new documentary that's out, 2016, Obama's America. It's getting a lot of coverage. Uh, I, I want to show you part of it now. The pain I felt was my father's pain. My questions were my brother's questions. Their struggle, my birthright. Obama has a dream, a dream from his father, that the sins of colonialism be set right and America be downsized. Of course, this documentary is breaking records. I just the number one documentary now. Astonishing. Uh, are people talking about it in Tampa? Uh, yeah, there, there is some talk about it. I, uh, one of the guys that I flew down on the airplane with was very, very excited. He had gone and seen it. My mother has, uh, has seen it. She loved it. I think that there's a real <laughs> thirst, a real hunger among a lot of people uh, on, on what, what, is, what is more information about Barack Obama that maybe the mainstream media haven't been telling us about him. You know, I mean, he, he came into office as this uniter, and, and, and very, very quickly things deteriorated. He wasn't the type of uniter that everybody thought. And I think that this documentary probably just kind of shows, you know, enlightens a, a lot of people about, about that. Well, it's going to be interesting to see ultimately how it does. It's just, it's just brand spanking new. Jonathan, thanks for coming on tonight. It's a pleasure to see you. I hope you'll come back later in the week. It's great. Thanks so much for having me. All right, here's your